Yes. So I want to ask you, when the soul comes back, reincarnates yes. back yes. Uh, into another being, yes. body. Body, Phys physical body, yes. Um, does it bring part of an ego with it, or does yes. that does that new yes. body yes. recreate another ego yes. as the consciousness is formed? Both. Okay, so so oh. that soul memory, as I was referring to yes. before, brings part of an ego from that soul memory That's right. and joins with uh, another ego. It, yes. it, so mm -hmm. there is mm -hmm. part of an ego already right. created. Yes, the, uh, what, what the soul brings, meaning the astral body brings. The astral body is the like a, a, a yes. supercomputer, right? Mm -hmm. A supercomputer that is highly programmed to. So, uh, by incarnating and uh, going into a physical uh, body, a human body, mm -hmm. then it, it, uh, it has the programs that has accumulated through eons of time, Correct. right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, they are, they are kind of dormant in the beginning, in the baby. But as the baby begins to uh, grow and then becomes a, a child, then you begin to see certain tendencies. Correct. And these tendencies are not explainable completely based on the experiences in this incarnation. Right. So you begin to see a Mozart that suddenly is playing the piano at three years of age, right? right? That's a tendency, a powerful tendency. It comes from soul right. memories. It comes from soul memories and it's located in the astral body. Mm -hmm. So, um, the, these tendencies are very, very powerful, and but they, that's not from ego. That's no. soul memory. Well, it, it's it's a soul ego, soul ego, right? Okay. It's a it's a, a more advanced form of ego, and uh, but because you can bring also from the astral in your astral body, you can bring some tendencies that are not nice. Some right. some are nice, some aren't, right? right? Okay. And at some point, they they kick in. And you say, hmm, oh, I felt so attracted to smoking. Why was that? <laughs> right? Well, right? I have or never or smoked. Or or, yes, right, exactly. that's right. Very okay. negative things, too, mm -hmm. that okay. uh, are coming with this astral character, right? Uh, so that, okay. that's why the, the soul is also in a process of purification. Yes. And it's okay. using the human body to purify itself. That's why uh, Yogananda said, um, he said, uh, the, the, the physical body, the human body, is the ransom of the soul. Yeah. That's because Yogananda was not always a very nice person as a child. Maybe not. <laughs> he was a spoiled, rotten kid. Could be, right. <laughs> so it's pretty spoiled. No, it's perfect. <laughs> he, gave his, yeah. he gave his uh, right. gurus a hard, a hard, a hard time, to know, but right. they gave him one back. So. Right, right. <laughs> At least he, he, you know, he was so uh, strong in his intent to find God that uh, he persevered. Right? That was his. Yes, he did. Yes. That was his. Um, in times where uh, finding the divine and awakening was extremely difficult, because today we have it easy here. It's, this is we are very privileged. We are living in. He overcame a lot of karma. Huh? He overcame a lot yeah, of karma. Yeah, he had, he had to burn a lot of karma. He had to. Uh, persevere under very difficult circumstances. So, uh, the the teachings um, that he received from his teacher, you know, they were not that easy to understand. Uh, uh, Sri Yukteswar, who was his teacher, he he was a sage and he was obviously very versed in the scriptures. But these scriptures are very difficult to to get them. And uh, his explanations, when you, when you read the Holy Science, for example, which is a book that was written by Sri Yukteswar, his explanations are very difficult, right? So today, you know, we read uh, uh, modern teachers, non-duality teachers, and we say, oh, it's so easy, it's so easy. Everything is there for everyone to take it. But before that, exactly. before this, this era that we're living that began with Sehar Toll in the Western world in 2002, uh, to wake up was almost impossible. 